Hello, beautiful people. My name is Sheila Felix and I am a high school French teacher. In today's video, we're going to learn how to actually screenshot from a Windows, whether it's an 8 or a 10. As teachers, you have an opportunity to actually use the screenshotting tool on your laptop. It's more so like the print screen. So if you have a um, HP or any Windows um, type of laptop, you'd want to go to the search bar and type in snipping or snip and it's going to show up snipping tool. So you can actually select the snipping tool app right from here or you can use the shortcut which is Windows button shift and S. It's also going to bring up the ship snipping tool. And so you can actually have a rectangular snip, a freeform snip, a window snip, or a full screen snip. So basically, I want to use the rectangular snip so that I'm able to snip a document. So I'm going to bring up the document that I want to snip right here. This is a labeling activity. So I want my students to be able to label this part of the body. And I actually want to make this an interactive document um, to be used on Google Slides. So the first thing I need to do is actually create, um, take a screenshot of this document. So I'm going to press the Windows key, the Shift and S to bring up the snipping tool. I'm going to go for rectangular snip. And I'm going to get this crossbar here that I'm going to start from the top, drag it, so that it snips the entire document. And then I'm going to pull up the document. Right. So it said that the step was saved to my clipboard. I want to bring it up so that I can go ahead and save it. So I'm gonna go and press the save. And then I'm going to rename the image. So I'm going to say parts of the body activity. I'm going to save it in my document section so that I can find it and then press save. And then if you want to learn how I make this document interactive, I would suggest that you see the video here um, that is in the recommended section or the suggested section that came up. I'm also going to link it down in the description box below. If you enjoyed this short tutorial, um, go ahead and like and comment and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and share this video to all of your teacher friends. Thank you for staying tuned and I'll see you in the next tutorial.